Hi everyone, welcome back to 365 Ninja. Today I've got an Outlook tip for beginners. I'm going to show you how to change the font of new messages as well as just change the default font in Outlook, whether you have Outlook on the web, Outlook 2013, or Outlook 2016. So let's start here in Outlook on the web and I'm going to click new to create a new email message. And I'll just jump right into the body of the message here. And you can see that I've added some text to change the font, I'll highlight it and then click this menu item here for font. And then I can choose from any of these preloaded font choices that I'd like. Now, alternatively, if you want to change the default font for all of your email messages, you can go to your gear menu, click options, and then go to message format here in the layout area. In this message font window, you can choose from the drop down whatever new font you'd like, and then every new email message will end up with that new default font. Now let's look at the same thing in Outlook 2013, and these steps will be the same for Outlook 2016. So let's say I've got a message that I'm replying to, and you can see that it comes up with that Calibri blue font. Now this is a really familiar font to most Outlook users, but if I wanna change it, I highlight it, go to my, font menu here in the ribbon, and I'll click a new font. If I'm popped out, I'll still see the same font menu in the ribbon. Now, if I wanna do the same thing I did in Outlook on the web and change the default font for all of my email messages, go to my file tab, go to options, click mail, stationary and fonts. And now this has a little bit more customization options than we see in Outlook on the web. I can change my default for new mail messages and replying or forwarding to messages and also plain text messages. So if I don't want that blue color, I can change it here. I can also change the font style to, let's say I want to use Arial. Click OK, click OK, and another OK, and it will be set for you. Hope that tip helps Outlook users. For more tips and tricks like this one on Office 365, please check back with 365ninja.com. Thanks.